Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for some more Punic Power. I'm your host, Kelvin, where I'm scrambling to try and get myself organized. It is uh, not going well. During our fight with the Roman Empires, simple the mob. Everything is proceeding as I had planned. Uh, things went bad. Between three revolts. Down to one. And an invasion from the Southern Africans. Who think that they have the power to beat us. Alright. Let's show them who's boss. At some point I have to take care of them. They're ticking fast, so. But I don't want him getting any farther. He's already gotten too far. Uh-oh. Oof. That was a close fight. Gotta keep fighting, though. Assemble the mob. Burn. Alright. Whew. Alright. I'm willing to give him white peace. I don't need to keep fighting. I don't care if he maintains his claims. Because I'll be coming for him. Alright, now we just have one last thing to deal with. A peasant uprising. Alright. Everyone, gather your fleets in Carthage. I hope we have enough forces left to deal with it. I'll have to gather the islands. Is just to damn well make sure. Just to make sure. Oh, why? Uh, I literally just finished killing one of you. The German raids are unfortunately keeping me in a state of perpetual weakness at this point. It's not looking good. There. He became chased. Good for him. Revoke that. Uh, turn him into a great knight. Well, there. Alright, and you get revoked. Because I accidentally made him into a city. And I'll pay the minus 40, I know. Alright. Gotta finish this off. And then we have to do something about the African Solar Revolt. What? I don't know, but something. Freaking romance. Unfortunately, I can't get these guys as a vassal. I should totally be able to. They are, after all, the Knights of Valentinian. We shall see. There may be a way yet, though. Alright, he can be lustful now. Okay. Good, we can win. They are just peasant rabble. Oh, why? There's way too many people attacking me right now. I don't have the firepower to keep up much longer. The raids have uh, taken their toll on my troop counts. You know, a lot of things are kind of on fire. And, and other provinces are just looted completely. See what I mean? I freaking hate these Germans. I think I've suffered more raiding in the past couple of years than all of history and all of Africa. Alright, first things first. Get rid of that.
Alright. Second. The County of Palermo. Third, distribute all holdings. Okay. Alright. We've got 5,000 dudes. It's not enough. You there. You guys aren't enough to matter. Um... We're gonna have to get, a, obviously, more mercs. It. What, I'm not wholly certain, but... Oh my god, go away! <laughs> oh, there's too many fucking guys, and I have to deal with that African solar uprising. That's also going to be tricky. Okay, let's see. What do we got available here? Company of the Star is a bit too rich for my blood. Uh, Swiss bands, all right. Yeah, that'll have to do. All right. Get him to Carthage. I'm not gonna be needing you guys anymore. That's the levy's raised too long penalties going away, so we're not too concerned. Alright, and everything is united. We are short about 2,000. Alright, I guess we're getting the Breton band as well. There, now we have more numbers than they do. Alright, let's go. Luckily, they're tribal, so they're mostly light infantry, so the mountains probably won't save them. Probably. We hope. I'm not going explain why I cannot. Did I ever release all the Romans? I need to be needing money, so anyone I can friggin'... Ransom off is good. Anybody? I can't just execute them. Alright. It engage him in a theological debate. Yeah, people are abandoning uh for the Nicene Creed, unfortunately. I will not allow it to continue. That's my lad. And in time. Now we just have to hope we can win. Looking at okay ish. Yeah, I desperately need that money. Okay, back to this battle. Maimed. Aw. Okay, we got one flank fell. Yep, alright, we're good. Alright. That's a good start to things. <sighs> <laughs> the raiders. They just keep raiding. And raiding. And raiding. Oh dear god, Thuringia is becoming Carling. As opposed to the uh, Frankish kingdom. The Moroving. That's a bit of a problem. So I saw is dying out. <laughs> the county of Lorraine. Alright. Now, we have to go deal with that African solar uprising. Actually, now we should probably. No, let, let them run. I have other shit to deal with. They're already coming back. Unfortunately, we're going to take a lot of casualties here. Good. Alright, now go. 
I get them again. Oh dear. Oh, we lost a flank. Okay, can we can we uh, auto balance this a bit? There. Uh, trying to escape to the Atlas Mountains, which will be bad for them. Got him. There's no escape. Yeah. We're losing more score because he actually controls this place. But there's not much I can do right now about it. I just gotta keep killing. For 200 gold? No. Off of the white piece. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to walk away here. Alright, I die. At the age of 15. Reinforcing. Oh shit. Independent. Anyone? No, we're good. Okay. Well, not exactly good. We have some problems, but we're working on them. The bad news is we just got fucked by African Solar Revolt getting reinforcements. I need a lot. Come on. It's still a revolt, so. Apparently, I didn't, I thought I sent the white piece. Good. Doesn't uh, fucking hell. I fucking hate these fucking goddamn fucking German raiding. Mm. Okay. Regather them. Oh. Yeah, sure. You want to hit me in the mountains while I've got reinforcements coming? Go ahead. Well, I fucked up. I didn't get an education. Oh, well. I'm going to need it. From Paragon of Virtue, because I'll get a fuckload once I get married. Yeah. Uh, arrange a betrothal. Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Works for me. I was going to get that eventually anyway. All right, we outnumber them. Let's do this. We already have medium centralization. Yeah, I should not own Trapani. There. Oops, wrong place, whatever. Alright. Gotta push this African Solar Revolt out. Shit. Not good. Focus on every infantry, it's our core. Okay, we might still... Okay, we got it. Chase them down, no survivors. God damn them. Trust can marry. Three hundred fifty piety. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna need the prestige. Alright. I need to start going through administrative reform and getting dukes going and everything. If I'm to keep this up. Alright, the last 200 of you can now die. Thank you. 
drop everything. Enforce demands. And call it a day. Paragon of Virtue. I don't mind if I do. Of the sun. Cool. So, that makes me a Paragon of Virtue, which also helps here. What's our authority? 34%. <whistles> Alright. Unfortunately, we have... You're fucking kidding me! When did that happen? Also, why did this... Gosh, I can't actually attack anybody because I'm constantly being attacked by everybody. It's... This is just getting out of hand. Congratulations. You're the Duke of that now. Alright. We have the forces and the firepower to win. Let's just do that. I hate this so much. I've been attacked by everybody who's on my border at this point. I'm not I'm surprised Italia hasn't come knocking back at me. Oh, they're too busy fighting other things. <laughs> they're too busy dying to a Hellenic uprising. Alright, Mallorca is converted. Glad to hear it. Alright. We've gathered up our troops. Now, well, let's defeat them. They cannot be allowed. Whew. So how close are we to the Empire at this point? 61% still. We haven't actually claimed that much lately. There's been very little conquest going on. Wow, we just got fucking wrecked. Withdraw. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Um... Okay, I guess we don't have much choice beyond regather, and this time we have to use the boats. Perhaps I can survive this. I've managed to survive everything up until this, so I'd better survive this. I ain't gonna lie, this is sort of uh, starting to feel like the beginning of the end for me. The raids are too much, as you can tell. Like, I haven't actually fought any raids, because, well, what do I really have as a means to do so? If I'd, I haven't been able to fight raids because I've been too busy fighting wars. Because everybody's been attacking me. Because everybody's a jackass like that. Into the boats, let's go. Yeah, they're everything. Alright, we got number them by almost a factor of two now. Good, Carthage gets more levy reinforcements. They'll need it. They will need it a lot. Alright, Hannibal. Prove your name. Monreal. That's fine. Just everything's on fire. There isn't anything I can do to save any of it. I have to freaking kill these things. No. Your conquest ends here. I need to try and force through. As strange as that may seem. Mathematically, it's a terrible trade. But it gets me access to the soft underbelly while it's still very soft. And let's me quickly reverse the uh, reverse the outcome. Believe me, I don't care. I'm willing to walk away with white piece here. I am not in a good enough shape to be warring. But I can finally put an end to that. 
Unfortunately, the Raiders will have to go unchallenged. Hmm. I suppose that's fine. Ugh. Create more kingdoms. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven counties there. Or I'd get six of them. That ain't bad. Perhaps. We shall see. But until then, I had other shit to do. Uh, I gotta fucking fight these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. Gotta conquer them all. Pokemon. Hey. Mm -mm -mm. So. Now for our daily reading from the Valentinian faith. Sophia. In Valentinianism, Sophia always stands at the absolute center of the system. And in some sense, she seems to represent the supreme female principle. Sophia is the youngest of the Aeons, observing the multitude of Aeons and the power of begetting them. She hurries back into the depths of the father, and seeks to emulate him by producing offspring without conjungal intercourse, but only projects an abortion, a formless substance. Upon this, she is cast out of the pl pleroma and into the su primal substratum of matter. In the Valentinian systems, the fall of Sophia appears in double guise. The higher Sophia still remains within the upper worlds after creating a disturbance and after her expiation and repentance. But her premature offspring, Sophia Akamoth, is removed from the pleroma and becomes the heroine of the rest of the drama. This fallen Sophia becomes the world creative power. Sophia Akamoth, or Lower Wisdom, the daughter of Higher Wisdom, becomes the mother of Demiurge, identified with the, the god of the Old Testament. The Gnostics are children of Sophia. From her heavenly seed, the divine spark descended into this lower world, subject to the Himarem, a destiny, and the power of hostile spirits and powers, and all of their sacraments and mysteries. Their formulae and symbols must be in order to find the way upwards, back to the highest heaven. This idea that Gnostics know themselves to be a hostile and evil world reacted the same direction upon the conception of Sophia. She likely became, a, likewise, a fallen Aeon, who is sunk down to the material world and seeks to free herself from it, receiving her liberation at the hands of the Heavenly Redeemer, exactly like the Gnostics. The goddesses who sink down to the material may readily be identified with Rosh, the spirit of God who broods over chaos, even later with the later Chokma, who generally conceived of the world-creating agent. This system is very closely followed by Valentinus, who may have come to know these doctrines in Egypt. Irina's character... Wow. I can no longer read very well. Uh, characterizes the Gnostics as the new Matisse, who have perfect knowledge of God, and have been initiated into the mysteries of Akamoth. And can you believe these guys called themselves Christians? Crazy. Anyway, so with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. Oof. What amazement we have here. Roman Revolt. So what lower ground authority. This isn't all too surprising. There's still Hellenix. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.